Today we're going to go over the AMCAS primary application. I completed the 2021 cycle so it may look a little different. Generally, you're going to start by completing the identifying information section. In this section, you're going to fill out the legal name, preferred name, alternative names, your ID numbers, and your birth and sex. This is one of the quickest sections to complete as any other information is very known to you and is probably the best section to tackle first. I completed my application within three days by dividing the sections. I went ahead and completed the identifying information section, the schools attended, and the biographic information sections in one day. In the second section called schools attended, you're going to fill out information about your high school and colleges. You're going to also see that you're going to have to send your transcripts, which I recommend doing in a timely manner. It took months for mine to arrive. The next section is the biographic information section, which is pretty quick in the sense of the information you'll probably have handy, but there's a lot of subsections and it took a little bit to complete, but many of the questions are pretty straightforward and simple to answer um, as it has to do with um, your self-identification, languages, any felonies, misdemeanors, and family composition. So I did break down uh, my days. I did complete these three sections in one day just so I can get other things I had to do um, done, like asking for letters of recommendation. So when that tab came up, I was able to just complete it quickly. I also made sure that I did submit the request for my transcripts. And of course, I was studying for my MCAT still, so I got some of that done. So then on day two, I did the coursework and work activities, as well as the letters of evaluation sections. This is the coursework where you're gonna enter all the classes that you took with the grades and the course codes. So if you have a copy of your unofficial transcripts, this should be relatively easy. You just copy and paste everything into this section. This next section, work and activities, is a little bit more tricky because you have to choose 15 top activities that you found meaningful. Um, I know I did a lot during my undergrad year, so it was super tricky picking only 15 things to add on to here. Um, and what I did was just show versatility and um, what I learned from each activity next section is for the letters of evaluation here you're just going to submit them and make sure you look into each school as they all have different requirements then on day three i went ahead and just input my essay my personal statement which i had been working on for a while i don't recommend just typing it in there i recommend having several drafts then the last section was for the standardized tests i I don't show my score here, I think, in this video, but I do have a, another video where I talk about how I increased my score in a matter of eight weeks. I was able to see a 24-point increase on my practice test, and I was really happy with my second score. But yeah, this was my walkthrough for my AMCAS primary application. I will be making more videos, so stay tuned. In part two, I plan to share my exact responses for the AMCAS application. I will probably also have a separate video where I go into the tips and resources I use to help me fill out my personal statement and work and activities section. Stay tuned.